Change is in the air, kids, and it's everywhere. It's time to put the past behind us and do some changing. Get that crap out of here. Out with the old, in with the new. Good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is in your world, kids. I'm Stuart K. Riley, but you already knew that, and this is YouTube Poop News. Well, as luck would have it, I just happened to have some stuff to talk about. It wasn't a day after I made that video begging for something to talk about that shit just piled up on us. So let's discuss some of that shit right now. Well, April 1st is over, and that beautiful setting YouTube had, the text piece setting, is long gone, sadly. If you never got to experience that text piece setting, I feel terribly bad for you. It was fucking neat. You should have went and saw the tennises. They looked fucked up to shit. Why do the good things always have to die, kids? Why? I mean, text P, the old YouTube layout, bow, bow, bow. Everything's dying. Kids, I hate to say it, but I've got the new YouTube layout too. And if you ain't got it yet, you will. There ain't nothing you can do about it. You can do that whole delete history, cache, get an old version of Internet Explorer, or Firefox, whatever you got. You're still going to get it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. Even though it's bad, it's not as bad. For one thing, YouTube's URLs look exactly the same as they did. Only now you got to kind of fish for them and see where they're at. The AVC anti-video converter doesn't seem to work anymore, I don't know why, but uh, keepvid.com seems to work and FlashGot does too. If you got Firefox, just get FlashGot. You should be able to pull the MP4s out of there just like you could with uh, the other ones. And there's a hundred other things I could say bad and decent about it, but the bottom line is it's here to stay, it's not going anywhere. We better get used to it or go under. Also, I'm getting tired of these little pricks commenting on every video. I'd love this video if I didn't have to watch it on this damn layout. We're getting tired of that damn spam. I mean, it's not like we can do something about the layout. Fuff. What's that you say? Petition? Well, if you show me a petition that actually worked. So that's the bottom line. Get used to it or go away. Well, that's enough layout talk. Let's talk about something else. I was searching YouTube poop in the search engine looking for bad poops. And you know what you normally see on the front page of YouTube poop in the search. You see Toys Gone Wild, Mr. Roboto, Hoskins poop. <coughs> Hoskins? What the hell is he doing there? No, seriously, answer that question. Why is Hoskins poop under Mr. Roboto on the YouTube poop search front page? Everybody knows that the YouTube Boop Search front page is reserved for overrated, really bad poops with bad memes, old jokes, and other terrible shit. Not for a channel owned by a pooper who makes half-decent poops and pretty neat YTPMVs. I mean, this is so out of fucking place. A person who makes real YouTube poops surrounded by the shit that we shun? But then again, why am I complaining? This could be wonderful. This could mean that there is hope. There is actually hope for kids who are looking at YouTube poop the first time. Instead of clicking on one of these terrible poops right here, they can reach down and click on Hoskins' channel and look at the poops he makes. Not only that, look at his sub list and see who he's sub to, and he'll find us, the real poopers. Oh, and he'll also find about 50 people who only have like 10 subscribers, but nobody really knows who they are but they need to be known you know like pussy cunt super coffee kirk hop that's one of the good things about hazi he is the youtube poop talent scout anyway congratulations hazi you're on the news show again for doing something else stop changing the youtube poop world or else i'm gonna have to come after you with a stick also lemon party even though it's audio swapped is deleted yippee yahoo let's see news news what else Oh, for you kids who's always wanted to try out Adobe Premiere or you can't stand Vegas, I've got that up for download if you want that. Found an old Mediafire link lying around. It's a neat little setup, no virus or nothing. You don't have to key in it, crack it, anything. Hell, you don't even have to install it. You just click the EXE and boom, you're ready to use the damn thing. It's Adobe Premiere Pro 2.0. It's the same thing old Jake Steele uses. Speaking of Jake Steele, he just uh, finished a repoop contest on... YCP. What it was was everybody got together and made entries and um, they used old poops as the source. Stuff from like 2008 and under. It could be bad poops, good poops, whatever. But I chose two bad poops. One was uh, the one I showed y'all in an old episode. It was The King Gets a New Computer. My boy, this... I 
got a new computer. And the other one was an old Mario's Game Gallery poop. You've probably seen it. It's Mario won't admit he's losing. Oh no! I'm a water guy, a so sick. So the last day of the competition comes around. I make this at the last minute. It only took me like two or three hours. And I fucking won. So either the other entries really, really sucked, or somebody was bribed. So now Jake still has got to poop whatever I tell him to poop. And what does this predictable fur faggot tell him to poop? <laughs> Close but no cigar. Anyway, back to important stuff. Thar be a partner. A YouTube partner, mind you, who is aware of YouTube poops. As a matter of fact, he supports them and doesn't want YouTube taking them down. He made like this three-part video. You know who it is. It's that guy from Jeepers Media. He does all the toy reviews. He's like that. Hey, this is Mike Mozart. All right, I got a hundred annotations, and I got this funny toy shaped like a dick. And rate, comment, subscribe, and sign all my annotations. And I talk really fast like this, and I use iMovie. But you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna make fun of him. I like his videos. He's a funny guy. I used to watch his toy reviews all the time. Well, a few days ago, he had something to say about the whole Viacom controversy. In case you don't know, Viacom's suing YouTube for a big shitload of money. I believe it's about our SpongeBob poops. Because they're filing this big-ass claim claiming that, like, 60,000 videos had uh, copyrighted material of theirs that they wanted taken down. But due to recent reports, it's been reported that Viacom's taken down about 100,000 videos. Because it was an infringement of their copyright. And from the looks of it, it's turning out to be a humongous scandal, and Viacom is doing everything they can to uh, win this claim. Like they're taking videos down for no reason. And they're just completely forgetting the whole fair use shit. That's where the SpongeBob poops come into play. A lot of people can't make SpongeBob poops anymore, because as soon as they put it up, Viacom take it. Santa with teeth, aka Cortez 3000, is having this problem. He's supposed to be like one of the biggest SpongeBob poopers in the biz. Well, enough talk. I gotta fit this video in here. So here's a little bit of Mike Mozart or what you really need to hear. Now this is a little out of sync. I'm gonna try to desync it a little bit, but damn YouTube, it's hard to download anything. And under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, Viacom acted as judge, jury, and executioner. They send that notice to YouTube, YouTube's obligated to remove those immediately. You can counter file and get that clip restored. That's also true about Warner Music Group with the audio. Sometimes you can file a claim with them and then get your audio back. To all my fans out there, YouTube poops, 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 poops. And that's what I wanted you to hear. In the words of I Am Goomba, we exist. The wall that has kept us away from YouTube, the shielding that has prevented us from breaking into the mainstream media and letting our face be known, has been broken. YouTube poops and remixes and transformative works are covered under fair use. If they took down your fair use clip, file a counter complaint immediately against Viacom. And Viacom knows it's mostly kids here that are 13, 14, or 15 that probably don't have the legal expertise as their million dollar team of lawyers they got behind them. File a counterclaim against them. Do it and get your clips restored. That sounds all well and good, but how well that works is just going to have to be up to the person who does it because I've never had any Viacom shit in my poops before. Nor have I had a video that said it had Viacom shit in it, yet it didn't. There was a time when I was getting copyright claims from The Orchard when I was using Adventures of Sonic, but I don't think it does that anymore. It might. I want to find every single YouTuber that had a clip taken down falsely by Viacom. That includes videos that had no music owned by Viacom or no video owned by Viacom, but, but it also includes poops, remixes, transformative works. Poops to know what that is. Remixes is probably YTPMVs or just uh, classic poops like Hot on Our Tail or something. Let's hear tr transformative works. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's Mr. Kridoff who's now Mr. Dead. I want to find all these people and we're going to find out just how many were improperly taken down. And I'll bet it's a hell of a lot more than 60 or 70. And I'll bet anything that Viacom will not come clean. And you've taken down completely innocent people's clips like people eating at a restaurant. This video taken down because you smiled like Patrick. Or people that put up original music compositions they wrote and created the music for themselves. Rest in peace the old layout. That had no Viacom content at all. Feels like he used nothing at all. But yeah, I figured that was a pretty important vid to show y'all because he talked about YouTube poop and he supports them and he's a partner so therefore that's cool. Well, kids, I'm out of time. Uh, I'll probably have you some interviews soon. 
Oh, yeah, Gary Busey hit 100 subs. There you go, man. Only 900 more to go. <laughs> Speaking of subs, I'm a harsh thread from getting at the 2,000 mark. How the hell's that happen? Y'all actually enjoy my long, grab rants about nothing? Or do you just sub to listen to my terrible voice? To vote on which one, just rate, comment, subscribe, and you get to see more wonderful videos like this. And be sure to subscribe to all my alts, and be sure to sign up to be the first person to get a YouTube Boot News t-shirt. Oh yeah, sorry I didn't have time to answer any questions for this time around. I will for the next show, but for right now, I really have to go. See y'all later.